we are putting on this beautiful Tribal Clean Energy Summit uh, here at Pachanga. It's been a great two days of learning, listening, sharing ideas, and we hope everybody that you know, comes to this conference, walks away with new connections, new plans, new inspiration for their communities. This has been a tremendous opportunity here at this conference to uh, learn more about this transition uh, period and dynamic, uh, especially, you know, talking about uh, electrification, talking about wind energy. The future of Indian energy projects is in our young people. A lot of us are at a point where we've got a great career, but we need to pass it on to the younger generation. I think that's where we have to understand that our young people have to be thought of as resources to our tribes, the hope of our tribe. I hope they gain confidence in what their visions are for their communities and know that they aren't alone, that they have allies in Indian country and in the federal government and I most likely state and county too, that we need to recognize who each other are and start working together. Talk is cheap, right? I mean, so we hear a lot of that from our federal partners, but in this case, under Secretary Granholm's leadership, um, tribal nations are being heard.